In this lesson, we're going to do any final touches to our scene and prep it for rendering. Okay, so in my last render, there's a few issues that we have outstanding. Is uh, The particles here seem to be a little bit too big. They're also rotated in the wrong position. And our cap is also not in the right position. So let's begin with the cap. So over in 3D Studio Max, we're just going to switch over to our perspective view. And we're going to select our cap. And we can switch on over to our top view and move this over to the side. Rotate it down maybe 85 degrees. We'll just bring this down to the foot of the, the beer here. And then we'll move it over to the side. Down a little bit. And we can even check this from our camera view to make sure that this is working. We're actually on the wrong side. And we can hit uh, Shift F to frame up, see what we're going to see when we render. And you can see that our camera is actually in the wrong position. We need to bring it over. So with our middle mouse button, we can just drag it over to the side. And from here, we can position our cap. All right. All right, we'll give that a render. Okay, in our render, you can see that the bud is actually rotated uh, 90 degrees too much on one side. So we'll just bring it back maybe a little bit more than 90. And also, our particles here are looking a little bit too big. So we're actually going to decrease... And I think even our scale might be off a little bit, our variation, sorry. So we'll actually decrease the size, decrease the variation, and then we'll increase the amount of particles and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm going to switch to local view, rotation, sorry, and just rotate this back 90 plus maybe a little bit extra so that the bud symbol is actually going in a diagonal pattern. Okay, so we can fine tune our particles by selecting particle flow, hitting 6. And we're going to go down to Shape Instance, and we're going to decrease the size of these down to maybe 0.5. Lower our variation to maybe 4%. And then we go up to Birth and increase the amount maybe to 800. Alright, let's give that a render. Okay, so I think our condensation actually got a little bit too small, so we'll increase the size of them. But you can see that we have some problematic issues right here. This actually could be the ice on this one. But we're also seeing it down here on the problem, just a little bit off the screen. I'll bring this in. We're having the problem here and up here. And this actually could just be uh, deformities in our models. And we'll actually be able to isolate those issues when we convert these into a mesh. So let's go back to particle view. Let's increase the size of this back up to 1. But I think 1 was too much. Maybe 0.75 will work. And variation should still be fine. And let's give that another render. Okay, so I think this is looking uh, much better. However, I don't think we have enough uh, particles set up. So we're going to increase this number quite a bit. Maybe up to 1400. And see what that gives us. Okay, so I think this is looking much better. At this point, we're going to need to convert these into polygons and get rid of some of them. Like, we're not going to want as many up there on the top. And we have some weird artifacting going on inside the bottle here. So we'll remove those and the ones from the top. And then from here, we'll be ready to set this up for render. Okay, so to convert these into meshes, what we need to do is go into our Create panel. Under Standard Primitives, we're just going to switch that out for Compound Objects. We're going to choose Mesher. For Mesher, we'll just drag in the object here from the top view. From here, we're just going to go down to Add. We'll just move it. Cancel that first. We'll move into our perspective view. And we could have done this earlier, however, I wanted to wait till the last step as this is going to get memory intensive because we're going from instances to mesh objects. Okay, so we can choose our mesher. Over in the modify panel, we can pick an object and hit our particle system. Okay, so I believe yes. Okay, so our particles actually, our mesh actually went off into the side here and under the modify panel, just just a bit more room. You can actually collapse the stack into editable poly. Okay, we'll center that pivot back up and we'll bring this back into the scene. Just move it in so that it lines right up on our our mesh.
Looks like they're down just a little bit. Maybe scaled up a tad too. Or maybe just not, oh, just not back far enough. And back down. Okay, great. So at this point, we don't have any use for our particle flow source anymore, so we can go ahead and delete that. Okay, so from our perspective view, we can point out the, the so-called troublemakers. See if we can find them, or actually it could have just been refracting in the in the uh, in the object, and we'll be able to solve that here in post production. We'll just move this to the side so we're sitting right. Okay, we go into element mode. We're just gonna select all these ones on the top, but we can go ahead and delete those. All right, I'm just kind of going down the side here, making sure we don't have any just hanging off the edge that we don't need. And it'd be best to actually find these from our camera view because it's at a bit of a different angle, but I think we're okay. All right, so we can give that a render and see how that looks. Okay, we can actually see here that our objects don't actually have the material applied to them. So we can apply the material and we can set this up for render. Okay, with the condensation selected, I have the object selected in the viewport. I'm just going to set uh, assign material to selection. Okay, so to get this set up for render, we're actually going to do some scene states. So we're actually going to go over to Tools, Manage, Scene States, Save. And we're going to call this Default, and we'll make sure that this includes everything. Hit Save. Okay, so we're going to want to take everything in the scene. Actually, for this one, we'll just do the bottle. So we're going to select our ice, our condensation, holding control. We go down to object properties, and we're just going to turn this off to renderable. Hit OK. We'll hit save, and we'll call this bottle. All right, so now we need to do the reverse. So we're going to right click on this, go to object properties, and we're going to set that to renderable. Okay, we're not going to need our labels, so we'll select our labels. Object properties. Have a bit of a draw issue here. We'll hide those, or actually not hide those. We want to go to their object properties, set them not to renderable. We want to do the same thing for the beer. We don't want that renderable. For the bottle and the bottle cap, we're actually going to give them a material so that we can actually render the particles, uh, but have a mass set up so that the particles can uh, behind the cap and behind the bottle don't get rendered. So we'll go into our rendering setup. Let's go down to the bottom. Mental ray. I'm just going to change this over to scan line. And back in our material, we can go to materials, matte shadow, and we'll assign this to the model. And I believe if we render this, we'll get the mass that we're looking for. And we can just switch this back over to mental ray. Okay, great. So the only problem with this shot right now is that we actually have the light coming through. So we're going to go and turn off that light. And the HDRI should light up everything else. So I'm going to switch to my perspective view. I'm going to select the light. And I'm going to turn this off. Okay. So in the next lesson, we'll do the final touch-ups here for our render passes and get them set up in Photoshop.